All right, um, shalom everyone. Uh, my name is Yaakov Ben Avraham. I am a West African Jew. It pains me that I have to make such a video being in a group called Brown Jews of the World Unite. But here I am making this video because lately I have been under attack. Uh, and uh, I've been called out of my name. And even though I say, hey, that's not me, the people still uh, will not refrain from using slanderous words. So I'm not going to stoop but so low to that level. And I'm not even going to call out their names. They know who they are. I'll just call them Karens. These Karens have decided in a group called Brown Jews of the World Unite to go on a rampage because a brown Jew like myself is posting stuff with other brown Jews who don't practice the form of Judaism that they do. Nowhere in the bylaws does it say that a person has to either be orthodoxy, that a person has to either be Sephardic, that a person has to be a uh, bit of Yisrael, West African, Yemenite, Mizraki, um, Karate. It doesn't say that a person has to be any of those things. All you have to do is be a brown Jew. Now, mind you, I've been in this group probably uh, for the most part longer than both of them uh, were in this group. And, and, and it pains me even to have to go through all of this. But I think the problem comes with people not understanding what makes someone a Jew. It's not the strand of Judaism that you practice. I could be Kassadut. Um, I could be reform, uh, conservative, orthodox, Sephardic, Ashkenazic. It, it doesn't matter as long as you are a Jew. That's what this group says, right? But because our form of Judaism is not what they want to consider to be a recognized form of Judaism. I've been under attack. And I said, the problem is we don't know. Well, I know. Apparently, these kinds don't know. But I know what it is that makes one Jewish. So I said, well, maybe me being a brown Jew isn't enough for these non-brown Jewish women to understand where I'm coming from. So I said, I'm going to ask a rabbi to explain what being Jewish is. 
So, we're going to ask, we're going to ask Rabbi Daniel Lappin, what does it mean to be Jewish? How is one determined to be Jewish? Is it through the mother? I thought it I thought it was through the mother. I thought if, if he was born of a Jewish mother, that makes you Jewish. And it's not so much what form of Judaism you practice. We're, we're not going into what form of Judaism you practice. Just the idea of if you are Jewish or not. So, with that being said, let's ask, let's ask Rabbi Daniel Lappin, what is it that constitutes making one Jewish? Hi, I'm Rabbi Daniel Lappin. Thanks for being with us. And thank you also for sending in your fascinating questions to my website. Here's a good one. In the Bible, genealogies are stated mostly in terms of fathers and sons. Mm -hmm. Yet in speaking to contemporary Jews, I'm told that the determination of whether one is a Jew or not depends upon the mother's lineage yeah, and faith. That's what I thought, Daniel. Is that the biblical standard, or is was it, that changed over time? Is it Daniel? And this is from Christopher. That, that's Christopher, what I thought. thank you so much. Great question. And uh, yes, here's the way to start, I think. Um, words convey meaning intrinsically of themselves. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an example. Please. In English, we can speak about a parent, or two parents. Okay. We can speak about a single parent mm -hmm. or a group of parents. Okay. But not in Hebrew. Not in, Hebrew. in the Lord's language, the word for parent only exists in a plural, mm -hmm. horim. Okay. That means parents, right. stating very explicitly that a child needs to be raised by parents, parents. not a parent, okay. a mother and a father. Yes. Now, that doesn't mean that tragically there are not circumstances mm -hmm. where a single woman is raising a child or a single man is raising a okay, child. Yeah, we have but at least by recognizing yes. that the biblical ideal mm -hmm. is a husband and a wife, a mother okay. and a father, because parenting is by nature a two-person job. It can't be done adequately by only one person. Yes, and I so this totally when we know that, you, we can help mm -hmm. single fathers or single mothers parent their child by bringing in resources from the community to help. Okay. But the ideal is mother and father. Okay. And this is also, also conveyed by the fact that the child's identity comes from both the mother and the father. Oh, First of all, okay. the child's religious identity comes from the mother. And you're right, that is biblical. It's not a reason It comes from the mother. The, okay. the child's Jewish identity either comes from being a convert, let's say, a person can convert to Judaism, but so in the convert, context in which you're discussing it, that it comes about because my mother is Jewish, therefore I am Jewish. My That's how that works. Is Jewish, but my Jewish. family identity, my oh. identity within the tribes of Israel mm -hmm. comes from my father. Okay. And so I it may be from the tribe of Zebulun, but mm -hmm. that's because my father was. Okay. If somebody is a Levite, it's because his father was from the tribe of Levi. Okay. And we convey that idea today in not only in Jewish families, but throughout the Western world, influenced as it was by the Bible, okay. in the fact that families take the family name of the father. Ah. That's where this comes from. All right. And so a child's identity comes both mother and father. Both mother and father. In its completion. And so it is in identifying oneself I as a Jew. Uh, sorry, Rabbi. We have the mother providing some of the identity. Mm -hmm. We have the father providing mm -hmm. some of the identity as well, mm -hmm. because both are necessary. And when a society tries to pretend that any kind of arrangement works just fine. You don't have to think of a mother and a father and children. They're making a mistake which yes. ends up with causing 
damage and destruction to I the totally, society totally they're trying agree. to modify. Yes. I'm Rabbi Daniel Lappin. Thank you. And uh, I thank you for being part of this show. I thank you. And I wish you good times when it comes to your family, your faith, your friendships, and your finances. So there you have it. Being Jewish comes from you being born of a Jewish mother unless you convert I and the people at my congregation are West African Jews we did not convert we were born Jewish of Jewish mothers so this notion that we aren't Jewish kind of if I'm looking at it from the onset, might be kind of racially motivated. Because if I look like my brother, Rabbi Daniel Lappin, it would be no problem. But, by, by me looking the way I look, being black, now it's a problem. Because I couldn't have been born, right? Couldn't have been born of a Jewish mother, right? I, I had to convert. Mm -hmm. Wrong answer. I was born of a Jewish mother. I know it's so hard for you guys to believe. But it's now been accepted, even in the state of Israel, that there are West African Jews. Let me see if I can find that, because uh, I just feel like this is not going to be enough. I feel like Karen's are not going to stop. They're just going to keep going and going and going, because they're going to feel like, uh, what are you talking about? All right. So here we have it. You say, well, what do you mean? There are no such things as West African Jews. What are you talking about? I don't understand. There's no such thing. No such thing. What does this say? It says, Jewish rabbinical court rules. Ebos are Israelites. Nizé Emeka Meduisi on the 14th day of January 2022, that's this year. Twelve Shabbat 5782. The Jewish rabbinate of Abadia Alliance. Dayan Yaakov de Oliveri, Dayan Eliezer Tabad, Dayan Yohanna uh, Elza de Morte, Rabbi Kanaya Cohen, and Rabbi Chaim Ovadia ruled that the Ebos of Nigeria are descendants of the ancient Israelites. Hello, West African Jews. We've been saying it forever. Now, they finally ruled on it in the court. So I guess maybe now you'll kind of believe it. Maybe now it, it'll click in your brain and say, Hey, I, I guess, guess they are Jews after all. According to the rabbinate, the, pre, the presence of Israelites along the Niger River had been known by Jewish authorities in the United Kingdom, the Netherlands, L L uh, Lithuania, and Suriname. Rabbinic letters addressed by the Ebos to chief rabbis. According to the rabbinate, while there yet is an exhaustive academic genetic study of the Ebos, the data of the majority of those who have reported their autosomal and Y chromosome DNA supports that their ancestors migrated from the Levant Basin 
sharing genetic links with the Sephardic and Ashkenazi Jews alike. Hmm. So, if my mom was an Igbo, was born from a mother that 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 came from these Igbos who are Jewish, then guess what? I'm Jewish too. See, Karen, my mom made me Jewish as well as how you made your young sons Jewish too. So, sorry to bust your bubble. And on top of that, the hypocrisy of it is that the videos they're complaining about are not videos are not videos that portray um, any Christian tones of anything. The videos they're complaining about are talking about Torah, Haftarah, Shabbat Shuva, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur. The videos they post about Nitzakim, Kitavo. Think about this. The videos they're complaining about is talking about the Torah. Isn't that confusing? No one came on and said, hey, convert. Hey, be this way and that way. No Christian antidotes at all. But yet we keep getting this slur upon us. And this slur comes about because even though the rabbinate and the state of Israel agrees about West African Jews, even though they agree, even though Rabbi Daniel Lappin said that if you're born of a Jewish mother, guess what? You're Jewish. But for some reason, these kinds can't let it go. These kinds are determined to say that we aren't who we are. And the sad thing about it, this isn't a space that was originally created for us. So you got Karen's in a space that was originally created for us. It says brown Jews. Let's look at this again. Let's, let's, let's look at this again. It says brown Jews of the world unite. Brown Jews of the world unite. So, I'm confused. And I'm insulted. This is gentrification on, to another level. We had a group. It's plenty of Ashkenazim groups out here. There's plenty of Sephardic groups out here. Why join a group called Brown Jews of the World Unite in order cr to critique the Jewishness of a Brown Jew that was in the group way before you were around? I'm just not understanding. 